ever tried fishing in the desert? It's the last place you'd expect to find shoals of tropical sea fish. But Israeli farmers are using technology know-how to make this hot, barren area a perfect place for raising fish. We have good conditions here. We are a bit isolated from the rest of the country, which gives us advantage when it comes to veterinary issues. Uh, the weather for tropical fish is better here than up north in Israel. The desert climate is ideal for growing fish. There's no pollution and free solar energy makes the water temperature just right for breeding fish all year round. There is one hitch. Look around. There's no water source for miles. That's where Israeli innovation kicks in. Intensive research and state-of-the-art technology have helped Israel gain an international reputation for its fish farming techniques. In fact, Israel's fish farmers are considered leaders in harvesting tropical fish and aqua plants for export. Most of the fish that are grown in the Arava for export, about 95% of them. The idea is to ship everything to Europe. Keeping fancy fish is one of the oldest and most popular hobbies in the world. Some credit the hit movie Finding Nemo as really getting the trend moving. These colourful clownfish are even called Nemo fish after the cartoon hero. There is demand today in the world for uh, marine ornamental fish. So we have the Nemo family, the clownfish family here, and we're working on other fish in order to give the growers a larger package so they have a better business. The aquarium fish trade has a bubbling turnover of billions of dollars, with Israel ranking in the top six exporting countries. The Aravaz ornamental fish program brings in more than $13 million every year. The aquaculture expertise developed in the Arava is becoming ever more important to the industry. The farm-raised fish provide a green alternative. When fish are bred in captivity, there's no harm to the ecosystem. It's not only fish that are thriving in the desert. Farmers in the Arava have also mastered the art of growing an extensive range of fresh produce and flowers in desert surroundings. You have like a small cherry tomato and it tastes a very distinct taste, like sort of sweet and sour together. We have the dreidel pepper, right for Hanukkah. Among the center's many visitors are school children who come for a hands-on experience in desert ecology. Back to the fish tanks, and these Israeli clownfish are about to hit the global market. And if they survive the Israeli desert, they should be able to survive in your home aquarium. This is Marion Libor for Israel 21C. Find more interesting stories at Israel21C.org.